Coach. Coach, VCU host George Mason tonight, senior night here at the Siegel Center. Last time out against Mason, VCU came away with a victory, 72-60. What can we expect to see from Coach Hewitt's team tonight? Yeah, I mean, a team that, that plays hard. You know, they got good players. And, you know, last game out, it was a, it was a knife fight. You know, they, uh, they played well. We were down at the half. And we just did a great job scrapping it out. You know, Trey got hurt early in the uh, – in the first half, I can't remember exactly when, but it, our, you know, our guys off the bench just did a great job. We're going to need that tonight. Obviously, we uh, we like having Trey in the lineup tonight, but uh, just a tough game, and obviously, we're uh, looking forward to hopefully getting that win and taste back in our mouth. You mentioned a little bit about last time out. We did a very good job turning them over. They lead the conference in turnovers. We scored 27 points off 18 turnovers last time. How do we try to replicate that tonight? You know, just doing what we do, pressure. Um, you know, the guys did a great job. Jay Quan and Johnny uh, coming off the bench did a tremendous job of just, just heating the ball up in the backcourt. We need that again. Um, and then just, you know, sticking to the plan and uh, the scouting report, and we should do that. You know, obviously we want to honor these seniors today, and we can do that by sticking to the plan. George Mason did turn the ball over a lot, but one thing they did do well is they got four guys in double figures. Talk about how we might be able to slow them down a little bit on the defensive end tonight. They do a really good job offensive rebounding, uh, the best in the league in, in, in that stat. So we got to really punish them and block them out, not give them second chance opportunities. Uh, you know, Corey Edwards hit three threes against us. Holloway's a great shooter. So run them off the three point line. And obviously, Thompson is, is, a, is a load down in the paint. So try to keep the ball out of the paint. So again, sticking to the plan, give them one shot, and we should be okay. Thursday, Saturday, turnaround tonight. Um, how do you turn the page? We had a rough game up in Davidson in North Carolina. How do you turn the page quickly as a staff and try to say, don't let your last loss cause your next loss? Honor the seniors. You know, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you can't come out and play tonight for Briante and Travion and Jared, then don't show up. Uh, that's the best way that we can uh, get that, again, get that taste out of our mouth is try to honor them. They'll never, they'll never get another chance to play in here again, obviously. Bree's, Bree's time has come and gone with that, but honor Trey and Jared on the floor and then his Bree as well. Let's talk a little bit about the three seniors since it's senior night. Um, let's start with Jared Guest. Can you give me just a couple sentences on what Jared's meant to the program the last four years? He's been awesome. He's just a great kid, and he's always thinking about his team first. Has really turned it around in the classroom over the course of the last year and just couldn't be any prouder of anyone off the floor than, than I am of Jared. And, just, uh, just a great kid overall and just energy. He just always brings energy to our team. You talked a little bit about Briante Weber. Unfortunately, he suffered a season-ending injury on January 31st against University of Richmond, but it's his senior night as well. Talk about what he's meant to the program. He's, he's been Mr. Energy. I mean, what else has he meant to our program? Yeah, we've missed Coach Weber on the bench the last couple games. He just, he's just got a great eye for the game. and. Um, whether he's playing tonight or not, it's just a tremendous opportunity to honor him. And uh, plain and simple, one of the best to ever play here. Final senior that we're going to talk about is Travion Graham. He's been a phenomenal player, not heavily recruited in high school, but came in and just really made a significant impact. Talk a little bit about him. No words. <laughs> He's just an uh, unbelievable kid and uh, couldn't be uh, any more proud of one individual. And, again, just a tremendous, tremendous player. And I hope we can honor him. Uh, and get the win for him tonight because he deserves it more than any player that's ever played here. Great, Coach. Thanks a lot, and good luck against George Mason. Thanks.